Today, Precarious plays... Deus Ex, Human Revolution. Huh? Oh. <laughs> what? But. What, but? <laughs> no, no butts this way. Oh, but I see an if. And maybe an or. <laughs> Uh, you had told me to think of cyberpunk thoughts. Yes, think cyberpunk thoughts. I thought of some, did you? No. Well, uh, I thought of one cyberpunk thought, which I already told you and you disapproved, so... How's that, then? My, the, the mecha banana. <laughs> what? I told you! I've already forgotten, so please... <laughs> Refresh my memory. Okay, well, a, a mecha banana. There's not much to it. It's punk because it's, you know, against utility and sense making. And it's cyber because it's it's not even actually a banana. It's it's a it's a mecha banana. I don't know. Like imagine like a polygon banana. That also opens up to reveal many soft yellow colored articulating joints that do nothing, basically. Mm hmm. But you can throw it at people and it hurts. Also, it, you can throw it down a hallway and it will position itself under someone's feet. Yeah. Oh, for a, a slip sliding yeah. good time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. What a punk. Right? That tracks. Cyberpunk. That makes perfect sense. Cyberpunk banana. That's all I got, man. This place is pretty cyberpunk. As it is. Did you think of some uh, top banana? Well, I thought of some thoughts. I realized that the cyber is the part that I usually fixate on. Oh, yeah. And the punk, I could kind of... I could take it or leave it, you know? You could take or leave the attitude. Right. I don't know. I think the attitude's my favorite part. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to think of... I spent some time thinking of properties where... Everything was just sort of hunky-dory. Everything was improved by... Post-human enhancement. Mm-hmm. Where everything was just like, look, all the people, they're like half as much person now, and that's an improvement. Yeah. Honestly, I think that that might be, like, that as a new baseline. Like, yeah, there are the same number of individuals, but there's half as much humanity. <laughs> You'd be fine with that. You'd be like, yes, we're headed in the correct direction. A plus <laughs> plus. But I, I thought of another example of, I thought of a, an example where I think that there's very little moral ambiguity. There's no hemming and hawing about like, ooh, are you doing the right thing? Oh, what about the consequences? And now that we have the power, let's stop and think, just because we can, should, should we? we? Yeah. Well, what's um, that? The enemy within expansion or XCOM. Enemy unknown. Yeah, how's that? After a certain point with that expansion, you can use a resource called Meld to cybernetically enhance your soldiers. Okay. Into an MEC unit and there's a little bit at the beginning where you're like "Ooh, are we gonna be like the aliens and accidentally discard our organic selves because that's so great are we gonna do that or are we gonna be cool about it and use this for good and justice and 
friendship and flowers. Yeah. And saving our friends from aliens a little bit more. Yeah. <clears throat> Honestly, I think that, if I remember correctly, there's one moral gray area. It's sort of a fringe case. I couldn't even say for certain if it was purposeful, you know? Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly, if a soldier is badly wounded, if you apply the MEC operation to them, mm -hmm. the wound timer for that procedure overrides whatever they had before and is like a set value. Hmm. And it is significantly lower. Right? Right. That's really... Hmm. So it creates a situation where in a tight spot, I suppose you could say like, uh-oh, the end of the month is coming up. The aliens haven't done anything in a while. I'm expecting a terror attack. And all of my units are, are busted up. So mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, go a little, a little chop happy here <laughs> and, uh, cybernetically enhance them. So that they feel better enough to, to do a fight. Yeah. You know what I thought you were going to talk about? What? Photosynthesizing. No, that, that's, that's a not, lot more genetic engineering right. than cyberpunk. Yeah. I like the idea of having solar panels <laughs> just in, on, everywhere, everything. It seems a waste to not use, you know, all that sunlight radiation. Well, I mean, you're just going straight to the source, you know? Yeah. <laughs> there was a quote that I don't remember well enough, um, but... It goes something along the lines of the sun holds all of our planets in orbit and burns with the fire of a zillion degrees and ripens grapes like it has nothing better to do. <laughs> it's very, it was a little bit more poetic. It's like, yeah, so just as a side effect. <laughs> of this violent explosion that happens in space constantly. Um, we also have nice produce, so that's cool. <laughs> I thought it was a really pretty sentiment. So why can't, why can't we be the grapes, yeah? I mean, I don't want to get turned into wine or anything, but... How the heck are you going to get past this guy and that camera? Like this. I see. Can you get through? Oh. This might be... Mm, squeak. Wow. He's going to come back this way any second and tap you on the shoulder. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Because I've got the stylus over the... Oh, oh. <laughs> I've got the stylus over it. I have stacks and stacks of energy bars. Pro energy. Yeah. Pro bone energy. Oh no. <laughs> oh, is that not what it's been about this whole time? Uh uh. My mistake. <laughs> At least let's hope not. I don't think that would make you less visible. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> You're just increasing the. The profile. <laughs> yeah. That's an interesting silhouette that you put out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that would be horrible if if it were uh if it weren't dynamic, if it yeah. were calibrated for a certain silhouette <laughs> and it didn't account for anything in the d downtown zone. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna wait for that guy to go back because the door I need to get into is behind me. Mm-hmm. And this should give me the most time. 
See, that's what I was afraid of. That look right there. Yeah, that, that. Mm. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. I wonder if they restocked the soda machine. Oh, there's no soda machine at the end of that hall. Man, there's always a soda machine at the end of a dead end hallway. It's like the only place they put those. I really like the happy greens they use in here. This is evil, right? <laughs> <laughs> Most Evil likely. is such a strong word. Yeah, you know. Okay, this is mm, a cover with a lot of good people in it for other worse people to do things, to get away with doing things. Right? Is that more accurate? No, I mean, it's just a corporation, and yeah, it's evil. Okay. I mean, what do you want from me? Well, you said it was a strong word. Well, but then... I didn't say it was an inaccurate word. <laughs> I just said it was a strong word. Strong can be correct. 